Hello everyone, myself Shitan Linde, faculty from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from KITs College of Engineering. Uh, welcome to the journey of Python programming. Now today uh, we are going to start with this Python programming and the first lesson from it that is basics of Python programming. Directly going into the uh, Python programming concepts, we will first learn what are the basics of Python programming, the prerequisites that are required to learn the Python programming. So first we will see what is a computer program. So computer program is a specific set of instructions for a computer to perform some task and get particular, particular results. So for example, when you perform any physics or chemistry related uh, experiments, in that case you have a set of steps given to you, you follow those steps to get the particular result. Similarly, in computers also, uh, there are some uh, instructions should be given to the computer to get some particular result and those set of instructions are written in a computer program. So, a program is prepared by first formulating a task and then expressing it an appropriate computer language and then will form a complete application from the set of computer programs. So, computer programs make the task of user simpler, convenient, safer and more efficient and uh, the computer program which is written in any programming language, it is a human readable form and it is called as a source code. The next is computer, what is computer application or computer software? So, we have learned that computer program is a set of instructions that are given to the computer. Now, the computer application is a collection of such programs that are designed to help the end user or any user to achieve a purpose. So, for example, when you access your Microsoft Word or Excel or any computer related application which is designed using this set of programs. It is not a single program, any application is not a single program, it is a collection of different programs. So, for example, if you are uh, creating any Word document using Microsoft Word, to create a Word document there is a separate program, to save it there is a separate program, to update it there is a separate program. So, collectively it forms a Microsoft Word, whatever, whatever are the different functionalities provided for the Microsoft Word that are different programs and collectively it is called as a Microsoft Word application. So, the application is nothing but a collection of programs that are designed to help the end user to achieve some task. Next concept is a what is programming? So, programming refers to a technological process for telling a computer which tasks to perform in order to solve the problems. So, we can say that programming is a collaboration between the human and computer in which human creates the set of instructions for a computer to follow in a particular language and that is understood by the computer. Then how this programming works? So, first programmer or the user will write a code that is it will write he will write a program using any computer related programming language. Then that program that code is only understood by the human or the programmer who is who has created that particular program. Then we need to convert that to a programming language which is understood by the computer. So, that will be the task of compiler or interpreter and then the computer scans that machine understandable code and it executes it and it will perform the series of tasks that is given in that program. So, in this way your programming works. Then next is the what is programming language. So, programming language is a set of instructions written by a programmer or a human being to drive in to deliver instructions to the computer to perform and accomplish a task. Uh, there is a language to communicate with the uh, computer 
so that language is called as a programming language as we are communicating with other human beings in our native language or in corporate language okay same way we need the particular language to interact with the computer so programming languages are those languages using which we can interact with the computer so programming languages are the bridge between human and computer so in this picture you are able to see that there is a one window in which zeros and ones are written and in another window there is some code is written that is in the programming language so computer understands only the zeros and ones it will not understand the code which we write into the programming language so programming languages are designed to help the programmer or that are the user friendly we can say or user understandable programming language so directly we cannot write the code in zeros and ones so using programming languages we are able to write the code so there are two types of programming languages low level programming language and high level programming language in this particular uh, image you are you are able to see that one side it is written as high level code in which it is defined as we have two values length and breadth we have calculated the area of uh, as it is length into breadth means it is area of rectangle is calculated and we have displayed the value of area so as a human being we are able to understand that it is the code which is written for calculating or for getting the uh, area of rectangle but at the right side you you can see that it is a low level code is written that is in terms of zeros and ones so we cannot say that this particular code is written for this uh, code that is written in high level language to calculate the area of rectangle by seeing that all zeros and ones we cannot say that so that is not understood by the human being or as a programmer as a coder we are not able to understand this so the low level code is the code which is understood by the computers and the high level code which is understood by the human being or the coders then in low level languages we have two uh, languages that is machine level programming language that is written in as just now we have seen that computer understands only zeros and ones so it is in terms of zeros and ones machine level programming language is a language which is written in terms of binary that is zeros and ones and one more is there that is assembly level programming language which is uh, written for uh, written for communicating communicating with the hardware of the computer or the language which is for directly interacting with your microprocessor that is a assembly level programming language that is also a low level programming language then next is the high level programming language here you can see that it is a code related uh, means you can see able to see that the terms that is bank account the deposit balance withdraw so by seeing these terms you can uh, able to imagine that it is this is the code that is written for some banking application for to perform some banking transactions so it is a high level programming language using which you can interact with the program or it is a user understandable or uh, human being understandable language that is a high level programming language so just remember that the high level programming language is the language which is understood by the human being and the low level programming language is the language which is understood by the computers now as there are two types of languages we have seen that high level and low level high level is the language which is understood by the human being and low level zeros and ones it is understood by the uh, computers now we need a translator because we directly cannot write the code in zeros and ones as just now we have seen that so we need one intermediator to translate the code which is in high level language to the machine understandable language or in terms of zeros and ones so translator which converts the high level language code 
टू द बाइनरी कोड और द मशीन अंडरस्टैंडेबल कोड बिकॉज दिस हाई लेवल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कैनॉट बी डिरेक्टली अंडरस्टूड बाय द मशीन और कंप्यूटर्स सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसलेटर्स वन इज द कंपाइलर एंड वन इज द इंटरप्रेटर सो कंपाइलर इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर that converts a program written in high level language to a low level language that is understood by the computers or machines in one go in one go it is important that is whole program that whole set of instructions are given as input to the compiler and the whole program is converted converted into the machine level language or in terms of zeros and ones or in terms of binary or we can say that it is a object code your whole program get converted into the object code or machine level language so it is the task of compiler is to convert your whole program into the object code or machine understandable code so next uh, here you can see that we have one program in c programming language so c programming is the example of compiled language c c++ are the compiled programming languages so here you can see that the machine your machine will your or the compiler which is at your machine will convert your code into the machine understandable code that code is called as a executable code and that executable code you can run on any other machines which is, suppose for example you have created your program and compile your program on windows operating system it will create a exe file for you after compilation and that exe file you can able to execute on any other windows operating system machines so that is a uh, what we can say it is advantage of compiler that the source code of your program is not revealed you can just give the executable of your program that is understood by the machine to the other users so they can able to just execute that code and they can get the result that is the advantage of uh, compiled programming languages or compiler that source code is not revealed the next concept is the interpreter so interpreter directly executes instructions written in programming or any scripting language without previously converting them to an object code or machine code <coughs> so meaning of this is come interpreters directly cannot convert whole file into the executable codes so interpret translates one line at a time and that line is executed at that instance only it will not convert your whole program into the executable file so line by line interpretation or the execution of the program is done by the interpreter okay. so here you can see this is the code written in javascript okay here uh, the the task of interpreter is to execute your code line by line so here first it, we have declared the variables we have assigned the values we have done the calculation addition of two values x and y then we have printed the result of it so this line by line interpretation is done at the by it is done by your interpreter when you execute your code so the task of interpreter here is to execute it it line by line so when you want to transfer this code to the other user so you have to transfer your source source code you cannot transfer your executable because the code is directly interpreted on the interpreter line by line so you need to transfer the code source code to the other users or when you want to execute it on other machines you have to transfer your code not the executable file but in case of compilers you can transfer the executable to the other machines so this is the difference between compiler and interpreter advantages of compiler are the 
प्राइवेट कोड एज वी हैव सीन दैट द एग्जीक्यूटेबल्स ओनली वी कैन ट्रांसफर द देर इज नो नीड टू ट्रांसफर दी कोड देन द एग्जीक्यूशन बिकम्स फास्टर बिकॉज डिरेक्टली वी क्लिक डबल क्लिक ऑन दी ई एक्स सी फाइल एंड वी कैन एबल टू सी द रिजल्ट एंड इट इज फुल्ली ऑप्टिमाइज एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इंटरप्रिटेड लैंग्वेज इट इज पोर्टेबल मीन्स दैट द सोर्स कोड इज डिरेक्टली वी कैन ट्रांसफर टू दी अदर मशीन्स बट इन केस ऑफ कंपाइल्ड कंपाइलर वट एवर द सोर्स कोड इज देयर और द एग्जीक्यूटिव एग्जीक्यूटेबल फाइल इज देयर सो इफ वी हैव क्रिएटेड दैट एग्जीक्यूटेबल फाइल यूजिंग और इन विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वी कैनॉट यूज दैट एग्जीक्यूटेबल फाइल इन लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो दैट इज द डिसएडवांटेज दैट इज नो पोर्टेबिलिटी बट दैट वी कैन डू फॉर द इंटरप्रिटेड इंटरप्रिटेड प्रोग्राम्स और द इंटरप्रिटेड लैंग्वेजेस एंड द डिबिंग ऑफ द प्रोग्राम मीन्स इफ देर इज एनी एरर्स और समथिंग इज देर इन योर प्रोग्राम सो ईजीली वी कैन एबल टू रिकग्नाइज इट सो ईजी डिबिंग इज देर इन इंटरप्रिटेड लैंग्वेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ कंप्यूट कंपाइल्ड लैंग्वेजेस इज नो पोर्टेबिलिटी एज वन एग्जीक्यूटिबल फाइल प्रिपेर्ड इन वन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कैनॉट बी executed on other machines or other operating systems then extra compilation step is required for compiled languages and disadvantages of interpreted programming languages are it requires the interpreter as here you can see that when you want to execute the code the interpreter is must to translate your code into the executive uh, into the मशीन लेवल कोड सो वेन यू ट्रांसफर यूर कोड अलॉन्ग विद दैट मेक श्योर दैट यूर इंटरप्रिटर इज देयर ऑन दी मशीन ऑन विच यू आर गोइंग टू एग्जीक्यूट योर कोड सो देर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ इंटरप्रिटर बट दैट इज नॉट द केस फॉर कंपाइल्ड लैंग्वेजेस देर इज नो नीड ऑफ कंपाइलर वेन यू आर ट्रांसफरिंग यूर एग्जीक्यूटेबल टू द अदर मशीन इट इज interpreted languages are slower because the your code is interpreted line by line it is not directly converted into the uh, machine language code in one go and the public code so if you want to transfer your program then you need to transfer your source code so that is the disadvantage of interpreter that is you need to transfer the code so your code is public then one more approach is there that is hybrid approach in which the compiler and interpreter both are used so code privacy from the compilation we can achieve and the portability from the interpretation we can achieve so whichever are the advantages of both the languages that is private code and the portability these two two things we can achieve in hybrid approach so here the source code get compiled into the byte code and that byte code is interpreted on the interpreter so java is one of the example of hybrid approach where you compile your program using java compiler and the output of that compiler is the byte code and that byte code is executed on the interpreter so for java the java virtual machine is there jvm we called it as and on that jvm just in compiler is there using that just in time compiler that is jit that is a interpreter in the uh, jvm using which you can interpret your byte code line by line on the uh, machines so and that interpreter and there is no need of uh, means that uh, byte code is not machine dependent so once you create the byte code that will be executed on windows operating system linux operating system and mac operating system any operating system it is executed so the that portability or interoperate uh, operability we can achieve using this hybrid approach that programming language is compiled as well as interpreted programming language so this is a third approach uh, of other than the compiled and interpreter the next is the different types of high level programming languages 
there are four types of pro high level programming languages that is procedural programming language functional programming language object oriented programming language and scripting programming language so first we see procedural programming language so it is a language which follows a systematic approach cons consisting of statements functions commands to execute a computational task so procedural oriented programming language in which your code is executed depending on what kind of sequence you have written in your program so same sequence of execution is followed in the procedure procedure oriented programming language so example is c photon pascal are the procedural oriented programming languages in which your statements are executed one after the other and it is a uh, consist of statement functions and commands then next is a functional programming language uh, it is a language which is used the concept of reusability means this means that each program consists of set of functions that can be invoked and repeat a task until some conditions are met so hash has scale f sharp closure are the examples of functional programming languages where we write a set of functions and that can be reused whenever we required in our program then object oriented programming language <coughs> object oriented programming language which relies on organizing and encapsulating the data in terms of objects instead of depending on the functions and logic so object in object oriented programming languages we are uh, encapsulating our data as well as the functions into a single entity that is called as a class and in turn we use the objects to interact with the program that to interact with the functions and the data which is available in the class so with this concept like inheritance polymorphism that we can achieve and it encourages the reusability and it reduces the complexity of code in the program so java c++ python are the uh, c sharp are the object oriented programming languages then next is the scripting programming language scripting languages are used to design develop and enhance the applications or the operating systems features mainly it is used to provide the functionality to provide the characteristics of the system and all most of the program scripting languages are interpreted uh, languages and which are quickly and swiftly execute the code so javascript php ruby are the scripting programming languages so here we end the basics of programming these are the concepts we need to understand any kind of programming languages thank you